Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time out to come and hang out with us today to sit, to talk about what it is that Simon is doing here in this community. Uh, you're probably wondering, how did we get here? Because not many grocery stores have this type of thing going on. Would you agree? All right. <laughs> so about a year ago, we started with a forum much like this. Uh, our very first forum was to introduce the idea of Simon moving into the community. And so we probably had about 40 residents that came out for that. Uh, we sat down, they had a lot of questions. What is it gonna be like? What are the prices gonna be like? Are they gonna be reasonable? Is it gonna be like a oversized convenience store like the previous stores that have been in this location? Will it be safe? Will it be well lit? So the community had a lot of questions and fair questions and, and that they deserved answers to. So we took all of that back and we brought it to Simon. And then Simon said, well, I want them to come out to the store, see what it is that I'm doing. So before all of the uh, shelves were stopped, uh, he was just starting to put equipment in and everything, and uh, we had a forum much like this. And so with that, he asks, here I am, I'm here to serve you, what is it that you need from me? And so residents gave their feedback. <coughs> now, I, tell, I say it all the time, I shop at a lot of different stores. Um, I'll use Costco's as an example. I pay to be a member of Costco's. Costco's has once asked me to come in, have a seat, and tell them what I need from them. So I commend Simon that he has taken the time to not just sit here and collect from the community, but to pour back into the community. So I think we should give him a round of applause. To top it off, not only did he do all of that last year, but then we said, okay, it's been a year. Where are we now? What have I done? Where have I been successful? And what do I still need to be approved, improve upon if I need to do so? And so we said, okay, well, let's bring the residents back and let's ask them. Because again, he wants to know how can he continue to be an asset to this community? You know, he's not an asset if none of us wants to shop here. He's not an asset if he's not carrying the items on the shelves that we need or that we desire. He's not an asset if it's, you know, taking all the money that we have. As the mayor said, this is, was, excuse me, a food desert. So for our residents, and you'll hear from some of them, that lives up in Euclid Hill Villa that don't drive, the closest store was two miles away. And that store that's up the street, it didn't carry fresh produce. The meat wasn't fresh. I didn't shop there, but I'll tell you, I shop at Simon's amongst my other 52 stores that I drive around to on Sunday. Uh, my husband can attest. We spend six hours just grocery shopping because I gotta go here and there. And not because I can't find everything here, I'm just a creature of habit, but you know, Everyone doesn't have that luxury, so that's why I say that. Some people do not have the means to get to fresh produce. And then when you have certain stores in the area, they wanna charge you more because they know that that's the only store that you can go to, and that's not okay. And so I was very excited when I got to meet with Simon, and we met a lot in that first year. I think every Friday, we probably spent two hours together sitting here talking. What does the community want? What is it that they need? Uh, Roger Sykes joined us. We planned things, and, and we wanted to make sure that we listened to the residents. So that is what tonight is all about. Uh, but I can sit here and I can talk about Simon's all day, and you'll say, oh, she's a city official. She's supposed to say that. Um, so that's why I want to make sure that we have residents here because we know that Simon is looking to also open up a store in the Buckeye area. So I thank you, Buckeye residents, for coming over here to Euclid, and we welcome you, because we wanted you to hear firsthand, not just from us, not just from your councilman, but from people that shop at Simon's, so that they can tell you what Simon's has done for this community. And then also, so that you can hear what maybe he needs to still improve upon. And so you'll have some questions too to say, well, hey, you're doing that over there? That's not what we want. This is what we need. So this is an open line of communication. And again, I don't know many business owners that are willing to do that. So again, I commend Simon for doing that, but I don't want to take up any more time. Um, I want to introduce our panel of residents here. We have Ms. Mary Jones. She is the council president of the Euclid Hill Villa. <laughs> 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 
Wilmington Council. And I've been to a lot of their meetings, and I'll tell you, we need her sitting on city council sometimes to help keep us together, because she runs a ship, and it's in order. Uh, we have Brittany Prem here. She lives right here in Euclid. She is a shopper. I see her in. She doesn't even know I'm here sometimes with my meetings, and I'll see her walking past, shopping and picking up her groceries. And then we have Miss Sandy Gordon. So they are going to talk to you a little bit about what they think about uh, Simons and then we'll have a question and answer um, so that we can um, you can ask your questions and then Simon will talk and share some things but before we speak with the residents I just want to give uh, Mr. Griffin a chance to talk and welcome you all as well so thank you.